one who says when I speak into your life and you sow to me, you will prosper. You know what I'm talking about. You sow into my life. You will become a millionaire. He's coming you. He's coming you. And that's what the materialistic gospel preachers don't like about me because I'm exposing their fraudulent activities. But you know why I'm exposing? Because I was there and I know everything. And I know the whole thing. So I know it's his scam. Are you saying Jesus cannot make a money millionaire? Are you thinking? Look at the Bible. Who did Jesus make a millionaire himself? In his three and a half years, who became a millionaire by following him? That's not his mission. He didn't come to produce millionaires. Nobody in the ministry of Jesus became a millionaire by following him. The millionaires that came around him were already millionaires before they met him. Look at the ministry of brother Paul. Who became a millionaire by following brother Paul? But what did people become by following Jesus? They became ministers. What did people become by following Paul? They became ministers. What about Peter? Same thing. Jesus is the model for ministry. What he never did, no preacher can do it. If I'm teaching, say I hear you. So we are not following Jesus to be millionaires. We are following Jesus to advance his cause on the earth. Can I be a millionaire? Why not? That's why you went to secular school. Your father paid school fees for you to go to school to learn a skill, to develop an art, to develop you know, uh, 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 skills so that you can engage in the business world, whether you are a Christian or not, and make money. You don't multiply money by giving. You give as a responsible child of God who wants to support the work of your father on the earth. If you agree with that, shout a powerful amen. If you understand that, shout a powerful amen. All those preachers that tell you, if you, if you give into my anointing, you'll be a millionaire. They are the ones that become the millionaires. They are the ones that become the millionaires. They'll tell you, there is grace upon my life that multiplies money. I'm a money multiplier. So if you're a money multiplier, why are you collecting my own? Let that grace multiply your own money now, so that you wouldn't need my own again. Then you can be sharing your own to us. Hey, Hey, slap your neighbor's leg. Say, wake up and pay attention. The day of that scam is over in this country. It's over in this country. I'm teaching good here. You have an anointing that multiplies money. Let it multiply your own money. Now, why are you collecting people's monies? Can you be more anointed than Jesus? Why Jesus is anointed? Why didn't he multiply his money? Why did he have to collect Peter's boat? Why did he have to depend on, 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 on Joseph of Aramathia's tomb to be buried? Why did he have to collect from women that gave to him? Why didn't his own anointing multiply his money? If Jesus could not have that kind of anointing, nobody else can have it. Was he anointed? Yes. How God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth who went about raising millionaires. What does he say? Who went about doing good so that you won't think the good is ambiguous. He now explains what doing good is. Healing all that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him. I'm teaching you Bible here. He went about doing good. Healing people that were sick. For God was with him. Not making millionaires. Because in making millionaires there are principles that govern that world. And you have to just learn it. That's why Jesus will rebuke people and say, the children of this world are wiser in their generation than the children of light. Because the children of this world know how to apply the principles while the children of light are in church doing tarry night. You are in church doing tarry night. Me, me, unbelievers are out there calculating and networking and, and building relationships that will make them relevant in the next government. You, you are in church fasting and praying. It's time for fasting and prayer. And there's time for building networks. There's time for connecting. And there's time for being relevant. There's time for understanding the times and the season and positioning. A word is enough for a wise man. I'm teaching good. If you understand, you say, I hear you. 
How many of you watched the interview I did in Ghana? If you have not watched, you go check it. It's on my Facebook page. It will help you a lot because I dealt with a number of issues. Even though they were hushing me and rushing me, but I still dropped what I needed to drop. Glory to God. Say with me, I keep...